get this battle started, I want to thank TBL, 956 Battle Kings, and McAllen for letting us be here. Yo, it's yeah. Yeah. That's love right there, real hip hop in Texas. Yo, without further ado, the main event to the right, Savage Cannibals, Battle Kings, yeah. represent Real Grand Valley. We got Sino! WTRB coming out of Cray. I got seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> seaweed, you travel further, call it in the air. <laughs> said tails, it's heads. He goes first. Seaweed, what are we doing? 60 seconds? 390 no OT. 390 no OT. How about 69 seconds? <laughs> That's something you would say. <laughs> All right, we're going to start round one. It's on. Seaweed. I lost my last decision, but I can take it like a man, you won't hear no bitching. Because he used to be an undefeated when it became my addiction. Unfortunately for this next new pinata, he becomes my sacrificial lynching. Because this time I'll make sure all my words cut deep with some soft shank redemption. Ooh. You beat nobody important. I'm the best offer you've had. When Mike Melt told me I was battling you, I was honestly sad. This is Floyd Mayweather Jr., boxing a fan. No, but seriously, Mike, you were way cooler than you had to be, and you lessened our travel fee. I just thought the point of us coming to the Calum was so we could battle kings. Uh -huh. Your style is unorthodox, like a man with pigeon toes. Makes me want to punch your face till your lips are swollen like your dipping skull. Thug sticks and stones, just sits and blows, fists and bows, slit and throws. When we look and see no, we won't see no living soul. Uh -huh. True story. One time, him and his family had to share a bag of Cheetos for dinner. When it came to living in poverty, they were far from beginners. No electricity or heat in the winter. God damn it, man, your dad was a winner. <laughs> Everything you do artistically is guaranteed the flop. You couldn't sell a couple of fags a painting of a giant cop. No matter how many layers you apply, it won't go to the top. No matter how many coats you put on, it won't be hot. I'll take this square back to my roots and put this rapper in check. I've shown we're lyrically divided, now it's time to add the rest. Your bitch always locates my yardstick and starts subtracting the deck. When she's finished sticking her lips on my dick, it looks like Crash Savage's neck. Time! Time. I'll remember that. <laughs> I didn't know you were judging, man. You're right. Zeno, <laughs> get him! <laughs> Hey, yo, WTRB, are you fucking serious? This is your top tier? Well, your top tier wouldn't cut it as a bottom bitch around here. Do you know where the fuck you're at? This is the real Grand Valley, McAllen, Texas. Hell the exact yeah. Home of the $25 round six and cartel yeah. body yeah. stacks. Her. You faggot, you walk up around here, your ass will end up missing. You're from Crane, Texas, a great place for cow tipping. <laughs> I've seen those battles, it was like you, five other guys, and a whole herd of cattle. But not one of these cowboys will last eight seconds in a freestyle saddle. Your entire league lacks hard and skill the way your pasty ass skin lacks melanin. And watch you tell all these beautiful people how you passionately hate Mexicans. Huh? But then you can mention it, bitch, I've got the evidence. You've only been in about nine battles, but yet have managed to spit 20 anti-Mexican sentences. If on average, every, every round is about a minute, that means you're spewing brown hatred about every 30 seconds. Like that shit was gonna score you some points. Homie, you drop one more beaner line around here, and I guarantee your ass won't make it pack past that checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> Brown-skinned goons waiting in your hotel room with a duct tape in a splintered room. Your whole crew could get anal rape. We'll put that on tape and mail it to those families with a little note that says, this is what happens when you fuck with the valley. RGV, running game viciously, your whole division ain't shit to me. This murder will not be an unsolved mystery. Cause you signed your own death warrant when you chose to throw fists with me. CSI won't have to collect evidence, they'll know who the culprit is, judging by the depth of the incisions. Savage cannibal, your corpse will be found mangled. Battle Kings is a crew that y'all can't can't handle. And WTRB, tonight, your whole fucking league is getting killed. Cause my team is working your crew the way my son people work the fields. We buried oh, both yeah. our victims and seeds in the ground, so tonight, bodies is what will naturally yield. Time! <laughs> to one of his live art displays to see this white bastard paint. 
<laughs> Shit was so crap and plain, it literally felt bad for the brain. If your objective was to make the crowd leave, he's mastered the game. Because his audience was like a slut. They left directly after they came. <laughs> I already like to live illegal, so see no's evil. But when I look at you, I don't see no evil. You seem so peaceful. I hate you lazy freeload people. After the lights, camera, action, all your children's throats should be cut. Because you don't need no sequels. Free Sino. What the fuck? Why? Let him stay. At least then you have some solid bars behind that metal cage. <laughs> I hope you got raped in jail. I mean, full on brutally butt fucked. Only so you only so it brought back memories of your dad giving you that tough love. You didn't get robbed by OD, you hopeless joke. Your only votes came from hometown folks and morons that were comatose. It was like watching you spend the night in the hospital the way you couldn't handle overdose. Uh, but, nah, but seriously, those three minute rounds made me sick and nauseous. It was like watching two retards see who could rap the longest before they choked like a bomb kit. After one, after one whole round, I had to pause it and stop it. Before I took a suicidal dive, right under Ferris Fawcett. Oh. He, like, he walks up to children like, what's up girl? You don't look old at all. Oh, you're only 14? That's old enough to choke on balls. <laughs> Dead already told them all. I'll catch you and your family walking into a theater to watch an awesome movie. I'll follow y'all real close like a stalking loony, drink a chocolate smoothie to make my slobber gooey, then hawk a loogie all over your daughter's boobies, but I'll probably miss her eight cups because they're not protruding, so I'll just squeeze real hard on that rocking booty. Man, honestly, with a name like that, I was expecting to see a hot black chick, maybe with an ass that was fat. <laughs> but I got this classic looking faggot with a flow that's whack. Cause bars that hit hard and a fresh delivery is what your stupid ass seems to lack. Yeah. So we could go round for round, scramble it out in a box and see who scores the most points. Or we could go pound for pound and see who smokes the most joints. Or I'll just throw you to the ground, add pressure to your spine and snap your back like putting on a trucker hat. And tell me, Mr. Licks the Sack, why is it that you look like Clay Matthews from the Green Bay Packers and Juggalo low swag, or like your sister wow. lets you banger, and your pop probably runs a local KKK chapter? Yeah! Oh. I heard you got dropped from the clan when you quit your shitty metal band, wasn't putting any money in your hands, and went with the B clan to be a rapper. In rage with disgust and anger, they stripped you of your white bed sheets and horse and spit in your face and sent you on your wigger ass way. Now, that's you, we sit night and days writing applications to the Black Panthers, but for some reason they just won't answer. <laughs> wow! Homie, you're more confused than a hermaphrodite on prom night wearing a nerdy shirt while listening to Rammstein when you write. <laughs> oh. It looks like you went from boom bop to flip not to hip hop. <laughs> Every time that you spray, and what the fuck is going on nowadays? It's like all the dope MCs are passing away, and we're left with these shitty ass rappers. Yo, bring back MCA. It should have been this white boy that caught the cancer. Yeah. And can you believe it? This faggot said he rapped so much they should build a statue of him? Wow. Chances of that are anorexic slim. But then I thought again, I'm down with it. We all know that pigeons need a place to shit. I'm <laughs> simple-minded faggot wrote a multi. Huh. Skrillex is horrible, but you're a massive fan. You do know that he used to be the singer of an emo pussy faggot band, and when Dubstep got big, he wanted to go and grab the trend, and oh wait, you're battle rapping now, I guess that matches him. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in God, but Count Kappa is an atheist. atheist. Now I know y'all two are gay and shit, and I ain't trying to cross until your faithfulness, but doesn't that make it difficult on y'all's relationship? <laughs> Just cause you're Cal's sidekick and he's kinda sick, don't make you tight, kid. No one sleeps on your shit. We just don't like it. <laughs> you look like a Spanish Guido from the Mexico shore. When he, goes, when he goes grocery shopping and he steps through the door, he's immediately lost worse than ever before looking for the Mexican-Italian section of the store. <laughs> he spreads beans and rice all over his focaccia, puts salsa in his pasta and pico de gallo in his lasagna. <laughs> wants to 
explode. Even his name is in constant conflict. In Spanish, it means yes, no. <laughs> Or the only time he's got dough is his impression of Homer. I only wrote this scheme because I'm an immature stoner and I wanted to tell you that your last name rhymes with boner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm not an asshole, but guy, your fucking words are the worst. Your only actual crime was occurring since birth. I should do hard time because this was murder in the first. Ooh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Hey, yo, this on my name, but bitch, you look like you got hair from a grill. And actually, Sino means in Philippine, best of both worlds. Ooh. Yo, hey, yo, I used to think that WTRB stood for white trash rapping blows, but I didn't have it quite right. The other night, watching some videos, I can say that it stands for West Texas Rapper's Bite. But you know what for most people that don't really know, but not me, bro. You know that stupid little cadence that you do when you're spitting? It sounds like a SoCon flow, just poorly bitten. Yeah. Plus, you got them counted for written, and that's more than a parent. And you can't even deliver them right. And the bell bars that you actually do write lack life, so your style is like one big lyrical miscarriage. <laughs> and I don't need a hologram to see through you. You're like Tupac's hologram, an artificial rapper using a stolen flow to get views from the real dude. You ain't no lyrical beast, you're a lyrical thief. Homie, you're still high off some views from some fraudulent winning streak. So please, don't act like you and your mic. Yo, don't don't start to brag about how your, your battle with Michael White had so many in 2000, because that had nothing to do with you. Michael White would have done that that shit with your name left out. And then you want to act like you got robbed by F you? Homie, you straight up lost, and it's evidence that you're just falling off. Burned out from too many lyrical bouts consecutively, then you want to go and test me, be a two-faced, and then go Facebook and friend me just for more dirt? Homie, fuck. And just to get more dirt and then have the nerve to turn around and call me a pussy and a faggot? But then I accepted your request, then you went and blocked me from all your statuses. Well that just goes to prove who the real pussy and the faggot is. And back to your people's Mexicans. What's the problem, Bob? They took your job and your women? Well if you were doing either of them right, then your blue-eyed hands would have flocked to the brown cock. And I mean your white boys are so bad in bed, you went and formed a group called the Minutemen. <laughs> Like, Siwi is my dude, but I think it was tied up until the third round. But that third round was hitting, I think uh, Siwi's third round was hitting a lot harder than Sino's was. And Sino had to stumble a little bit. So I gotta give it to Siwi. Yeah. Oh, I did. I gave the first round to Sino. I, I gave it to uh, Sino. I thought uh, I thought he was just a little bit more clever. You know what I mean? Um, and then uh, the second round, I definitely gave it to Siwi. Uh, I thought that was, I thought that was, uh, I was really strong when he came out, dude. and and I, I like I like the fact that you know he, the emphasis when he was spitting the last pieces of his punchline I thought were real funny. The third round, um, the slip up by Sino just kind of took me off. I thought you brought it back, man. But uh, as for uh, you know, I think Weave came through and brought it through, so I gave that to Weave. Two for Weave. I've got a first round Weave, second round Sino. Third round, I would have gave it to you, Sino, if you hadn't slipped. I swear, to I'm at that. Is that true, though? The Sino, yeah, yeah. the, the whatever you Yeah, that's completely true. Though. Okay, well, you would have won if you had slipped. So, he tried to be different. That was a really good battle. <laughs> Sinnoh Seaweave! Seaweave is your winner, WTO!